Sierra ski resorts are celebrating all that gorgeous fresh snow from this last storm, and they're getting ready for more crowds this weekend and beyond, now that it will be clearer to travel to the mountains. Heavenly Ski Resort says it's ramping up staffing to make sure lines are moving smoothly. These friends came in from the Bay Area this week to get a feel of that fresh powder. I feel like it covers up all the the gunk, it's not as compact, it's not as hard, and then you just you just have, it's like more forgiving almost too. Just a better experience all around, I think, when you have fresh snow. Heavenly says they were making snow up until about 10 days ago, so they are enjoying all of this and expect to get even busier with spring break just around the corner. And today's Sugar Bowl announced it is extending its ski season by three weeks until April 28th. Now, we know that blizzard dropped more than 100 inches of snow in some parts of California. Now, in just a span of just a four days, ending the state's snow drought. But on the flip side, February was also the warmest February on record globally, and we're, ready, we're already seeing signs of an early spring. In today's Project Earth, Kelsey Thorne explains just how the two of these are happening at the same time. It was a monster blizzard. We're trying to get out, but I think we're stuck here tonight. The storm slammed California with heavy snow, high winds, and treacherous whiteout conditions. But the aftermath, simply epic. In just four days, six to 10 feet of snowfall. Concern over California's snow drought evaporated. We went from zero to 100 pretty fast. However, we have yet to dig ourselves out of the much bigger problem. It may appear hard to fathom, but this blockbuster blizzard with all of this snow may have links to our warming planet. Experts believe global warming may be supercharging some of our snowstorms while boosting the risk for a rapid snow melt. Climate change is really affecting the underlying set of possibilities for what the weather system is capable of doing. Andrew Jones is a climate scientist at the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. His research involves hydroclimate extremes and snow dynamics in particular. This blizzard got his attention. This was a very interesting storm. A warming planet should mean less snow, but this was the Lollapalooza of snowstorms. It really does highlight this conundrum that we see climate change kind of causing two counteracting forces at the same time. With this blizzard, cold Arctic air made a beeline to California. On the way, it traveled over the warming Pacific Ocean, warming due in part to climate change. The higher temperatures in the ocean and the air allow the atmosphere to hold more water. So the ocean temperatures are warm right now, and so this cold mass of air that moved down from the Bering Strait has picked up heat and picked up moisture as it was moving across the Pacific. Creating a warmer, wetter storm that was still below freezing. Jones is now keeping his eye on the snowpack, and with good reason. February was the ninth straight month in a row to be the warmest on record globally. Because overall conditions are warmer, that snow might melt faster than usual. Jones is hopeful for new strategies that aim to capture excess water and direct it underground. He also says it's not too late to slow down climate change. We do have to be aware of the changes that are happening and start to prepare for them. So we can weather any storm.